hit the wrong one. I almost hit the wrong one. And then it's I talked that, in the middle of it's it. It's that kind of day. Yeah. Oh, this has been so fun. Anywho, anything that you want to catch us up with on Paperback Mountain? <sighs> Only a quick little thing, and I mentioned it in our last episode, that I have officially finished Goblet of Fire. Done. And your thoughts. Loved it. Started seeing the difference between that and the movie, which made me super stoked. Cannot wait until you get to the fifth one. That, that was the fourth. So I'm on the fifth. You are on the fifth. I officially started the fifth. It Order gets, of the Phoenix. Yes, it gets even better. And, and then the next one. Half Blood? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Half and Blood then and then Deathly Hollows. Deathly. So I started Order of the thing. It's Phoenix. I also, at this point, I think I had bought two books prior, Goblet and Phoenix. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to need to buy the last two, and then I will own the entire series. Because I've been trying to buy them as I go. Are they all hardcover? Uh, or are they paperback? Goblet and the other one the other three the first three i found paperback okay because i was trying to i was trying to get the scholastic ones yep because yep. i liked that they were all tattered and they had like a dollar on it so it's like yeah. those. so i got the hard ones at uh bookman's i found yep and i almost bought the whole series i was like no i need that motivation so i'm gonna have to do something but yep. i did see the illustrated one oh, yeah. i'll show them you up the upstairs yeah because you to, know I jenna like got them i'm gonna like I'm you gonna know have. that I got those. Like I, I'm trying to get my first set super cheap because I have a feeling it's not going to be my only set of the series. So that's funny you say that because I have. I have a feeling. I have three, but I did give one set away. Oh, that's I have no sweet. idea who. That's I don't nice know of who. you. I get it's. Then I have my colored illustrated, but they only have one, two, and three. Okay. And then because they, I don't know what happened to the last ones. Um. And then, are they not going to do it, or they were doing it because it's know. more children's book? Because, I mean, can you imagine putting illustrations in the new ones now? Like, they're fucking novels already. I know. They're, like, well, you should see. Yeah, you should see them. They're, like, long this way. Okay. But, but I'm, I'm proud of you. That's awesome. I officially started it. I'm at the point where it they... makes me want to reread them again. I'm at the point... Did they just have, like, a birthday thing I saw on Twitter? It was his birthday yesterday! Like, you guys won't be getting it. The character, or... Harry Potter's character. Okay. It was his birthday yesterday. It was out in June 1997 was when the book came out. July 31st is Harry Potter's birthday in the book. Remember how he receives the... (laughs) Actually, Harry Potter received received his birthday letter underneath the stairs on July 31st. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I loved everything about that. <laughs> um, they said he turned 21, right? Is that t- that's what it was? Because now I feel like we should have like gotten butter beer or something, but I don't even know what that shit tastes like. I don't know where to find that. Oh my god! I've never been to the place that they have. Like I've never been to either Universal? California. Yeah, I've never no! seen. No. Oh my god, I love butter beer. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen any of that Ridiculous. stuff. Ridiculous. So as far, I'm not very far. One I thing that I book. must say is we need to start having girl weekends. Like different themes, different themes and kind things of all that we're doing. Themes. We actually need to like go to a place and like hang out. Like when we went and got our auras taken. Yes. Yeah, it's been a while. That was so much fun, but like, there's so many things that we need to yeah, do. Yeah, but we didn't have like jobs then. Yeah, but now we we're it, we would do it like on a Tuesday afternoon for shits and giggles. Yeah, that is true. That was fun. That is true. We just kind of were our like, hey, by like, the way, let's go do this. Our life was so easy because we had like nothing. Do you guys remember that? Like you'd be in, when you didn't have to worry about shit. Yeah, you're like in high school and you're like, oh, I can't wait to grow up. This stupid summer vacation. Oh my god. Me and my wand with my <laughs> Harry Potter scarf in Hogwarts. And my butterbeer. Yeah. And then this was... She's going to have to post them on here. You're just making more editing for yourself. I know. I found my, my people. Oh, my God. He has the same Sensing. color hair. <laughs> but I... So I just cracked it open, and I started reading it, and oh, it was, like, I going I through... pictures. We were going through... It's Hogwarts. Like, or it's Diagon Alley. Yay! Stop. Hold on. <laughs> what I what I must say She's though. Distracted. Look at how adorable this is, and you can get a wand. I don't know if you can. See. Yes, She's gonna you can. put it on. Like you're gonna. But have you get to a wand, and the wand has a little thing at the end of it. Yeah. So when you go around in the area, like yeah. this guy, you have to do a thing, oh. and then it does something. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So like this little guy like opens. 
and whatnot. So, so really cool. I cracked the book open. Yeah. I started reading it, and it was one of those nights where I was like, oh, I'm probably not gonna get very far. It took I I nosed in there. I was like all about that, and I wow. think as far as I got, I didn't get super far. But I'm at the point where they just. Got I'm just to, glad that you're taking time to read. I know. But you wish you're growing. But it's also like me unplugging and going, hey, instead yeah. of watching TV or instead of re- uh, instead of like playing games, I want to do that. Mm-hmm. So I'm at the point where it's they just peaceful. landed in front of the Order of the Phoenix when the door thing. Mm. That's mm-hmm. it. They haven't gone in, but they landed there. Yes. And already it's already different from the movie. Yes. So I was like, oh, okay. And like, I just, I'm really, I feel like. Had I not watched Goblet of Fire, that's probably going to be the book that turned it for me. Mm-hmm. But I do feel like what was the, I think the prisoner was prisoner the was the one that I think the prisoner was the one that that turned it because it started like, okay. to turn darker. Yeah, and it's darker than what the movie shows. The yeah. movie tries to do a, a decent job. I'll give it that. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like the prisoner of Azkaban. Ah, come on. Ah, come on. <laughs> I feel like that was the one that turned it. I enjoyed the Goblet of Fire, but because I've seen the movie, it was hard to get out of that. Yeah. So it wasn't until the very, very end. The very, very end. That you end. were like, oh, wait, this is different. Yeah. The, I mean, the very, very end. And I was just like reading. Like that chapter was way longer than I thought it was. Because like, yeah. oh, the movie just kind of like ended and like it had more. So I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Which makes me excited and pumped to go one read. And two, go read Harry Potter again, because I haven't read it for so long. And I read the first one because you were reading it, and I got through it. Yeah. And then I just haven't picked up. I paid for the second one Mm -hmm. on Audible. Um, I just haven't listened to it, because then I started into that damn name of the wind. I have an hour and and a half left. See, and I'm trying to switch, because I won't. I refuse to read anything else until I'm done with Harry Potter. And I'm, like, getting excited because I'm, like, oh, my God, I'm almost done. And I, I'm planning on, like, what's the next thing to read. Yeah. So We need a Harry Potter celebration after you're done. You guys need to leave stuff in the comments of maybe another book series I should read so I can have an idea. Like, lots of options. Um, but Or she could just ask me. It's true. But <laughs> with us talking about Harry Potter and we were talking about young adult, what, a couple episodes ago? Last... Uh, two weeks ago. And we somehow, what, two, three days ago, were talking about children. Teeny tiny children. <laughs> children is what I'm saying. Children. And I came in Chitlins. today. And Jenna's like, oh my God, oh my God, I need to tell you something. I'm like, what? And she says, shoe test. I'm like, I don't know what that means. So what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> so... And how did this happen? So this is this was an epiphany that I had last night. So again, I've been feeling really sluggish. I decided not to stream last night. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sit on my couch and I'm going to read. Um, but one of my amazing followers, Nerdy Muggle, speaking about you, she actually listens to the podcast as well. So, <gasps> I've seen her in Discord. Yeah, She's like She's kind adorable. Of, it's funny because like we both know, like I know, I don't know her. I've seen her around and like you know her. And now I feel like she's kind of like, like we both do. And I was like, hey girl. Like yeah. It's kind of like she's the popular one. I was like, do you know her? I know, I know her. I know her picture. I've seen it. Yep. <laughs> and she plays Garden Paws with me all the time. So Does her computer like get shitty nope. or is it just me? No. So they jump into um, Discord mm-hmm. on, um, so it's Amy, myself, and Nerdy. And we just sit there and fart on each other. And then we just giggle. And all then right. JP jumps into our Discord going, you guys are disgusting. That sounds about So right. that, that's about the extent of my stream. So, so you, take a, you take a quiet night. Yes, so I took a quiet night, and um, I was sitting there, and Nerdy reached out, and or actually she put it on Twitter, going, hey, does anybody know how to see if a book is appropriate for a certain age of, her, of children? Kind of like the video game scale. Yeah, so is there a mature rating, um, mm-hmm. a PG-13 rating, things like that? Got me thinking. There really isn't, is there? There is. There is. Oh, yeah. Okay. So... When I was growing up, there... So this is the shoe test. So remember when your parents would buy you a new pair of shoes and they would stick their thumb on the tip of your shoe... Yeah. ...to figure out what? Where your toe was. And why? Because if the toe was at a certain spot, it was, like, too big or, like, too small? Correct. Okay. So my mom used to do that to me when I would read. 
What? I was in the sense of this, not my shoe. Okay. This is similar to the shoe test. So as you were younger, your mom would always test how your shoe was so that she would be like, okay, the, you'll grow into these mm -hmm. or this is too tight and we got to get a size up. Yeah. So that you don't grow too fast and now I have to buy another $60 pair of shoe for my kid who keeps growing like a weed. Yeah. Which, unfortunately, you'll still be buying those sh pairs of shoes because we still grew like, weed. like weeds. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, <clears throat> so I, being a nerd, um, I lived pretty much at the library and for book reports and other things, I remember third grade, my mom goes, uh, well, I think it was my teacher too, mentioned Jenna's reading books that are a little bit higher advanced than what we think that she should be reading. So I remember my mom would have to the open up. The school told her that. The school told. Okay. So she would have to open up the book and point to a word and see if I could read it and also if I knew what it meant. Okay. To show that, yes, I could read this book. No, I could not. Okay. So understanding, yes, this is okay for me to read or this is too advanced for me. I need to wait till I'm older. Okay. So I felt like that was kind of like the shoe test. Like, okay, you are totally okay to read this book. When she told me the book that the girl, she, what she wanted uh, her daughter brought up to her to ask her if she could read. Yeah. I go, Wow. How do I test this? Mm. I didn't, I've never heard of the book, Goodreads. So I'm like, all right, went to Goodreads, went and read the synopsis or the, the gist of the story. And I'm yeah. like, mm, okay, I can see. And then I started reading reviews. All right, the age group of the reviews that I'm seeing probably is going to be over here. This is a, about a book, it's called The Shark Club. It actually sounded really interesting. And I have a feeling that she probably heard about it because it's Shark Week right now, just so oh. you guys know. I love Shark Week. So with the book, um, it is a girl who um, gets, she's 13 years old. She gets kissed by this boy. And that same day, her, her person that she likes or whatever, yeah. the same day she gets um, attacked by a black tip shark. So, Interesting. I'm, so, all right. I'm yeah, intrigued. So I'm already intrigued. And I'm like, okay, 13 years old. And the girl is 13, right? So I'm like, okay. But then I started reading. 18 years later, she's a marine biologist. I'm oh. like, all right, 18 years. Okay, so she's I, I in her assumed, 30s. I assumed that was going to be a different story at the beginning of there. Yep. So okay. now she's um, 18 years after the, the attack. She's yeah. a marine biologist. She comes back to the town. And now she's, um, there's like a slight mystery that's evolving in the town. Um, as well as she has two love interests. And now she has to pick between the boy of her dreams back when she was 13 and this how, other guy. I was like, Can you disclose how no, old the, the reader? Oh, the, the reader that's, is 13. Yeah, so I was, okay. that's why I was like, 13, 13. Okay. Oh, this is okay. And then as I kept reading, I was like, mm, it's there's about probably a young a, adult, a young 20 year old. No, if you do the math. Sorry, what age 18. Did you say? So 13 years old. Yeah. Add 18 to 13. What is that? Oh, 8, she's... 9, 10, 11. So that's 31. That's an adult. I don't think she's going to be able to relate. She, because I feel like, especially if you're writing for Those her, relationships that she's in that's as well, that's more mature. That's a 30 year old relationship. So I said, you know what? Even though this probably wouldn't be a book that I would recommend for this specific age, not because she doesn't know how to read. Yeah. Just because you don't know. I remember when I was reading books that too far in advance for me, I just didn't capture things the same way. Yeah. Um, so I was like, fangirl. The girl is 18 years old. Mm -hmm. I know it's a little bit higher, but the girl is very, um, like, innocent and humble like it's not something that she's going out and partying and she's trying to be like you know and there's like really good things that you can learn from that so i was like fangirl great one uh will grayson will grayson that's a high school one but it is a little bit more mature just because i don't know your take on you know uh same gender relationships yeah so i was like giving options that she could utilize that are still a little bit higher for a 13 year old but, but then they could not not, not an adult an adult that's like a romance novel that you go into a rom or a mystery or a romance like mystery, that level. maybe potentially thriller or something like that too. But though that's always the writing is different. Young adult they just write differently than yeah. they do in other things. So, I just thought that was interesting because I was like, yeah, but I, now I'm intrigued to kind of look up the book. Was it decent? The Shark Club. Was it decent? It was. Decent it had writing. decent reviews. Mm -hmm. So I checked Goodreads and it looked like it was really good. Well done. Well written. Um, it's just 
that that reminded me of like thirteen. How did my mom feel like it's like because. Uh, uh, my buddy has two twins, and they're, like, 13. And I remember the one was, like, head over heels for... <sighs> Not the Vampire Diary thing. It was something else that she was reading. I was like, oh, she's reading that? It was another young oh, adult. Oh, the... Um, it's not Young Adult. Um, True Bloods series, Charlene Harris. I don't think it was True Bloods. It was something... It was, like, the Hunger Games or something. Because, I like, I knew it when he said what it was. I was like, I've heard of it. So I think it was a movie. Twilight? Maybe it was Twilight. It might have been Twilight or Hunger Games or something like that. And she was, like, probably 12, 11 or 12. But see, I don't think that that's too far off. Yeah. Like, that's still in high school. You're still in high school. Um, 12 and 13, you're, like, in middle school. Yeah. Like, you're 6th, 7th grade, but you're just starting to get those emotions and those feelings for, yeah. like, the other um, interest or whatever, but... I it's think like you, it's not harmful though. But it also depends on like your as you as a parent too, because it's like you're not you don't have to have your kid only reading books that are with characters that are thirteen. It's just you have you should do some That's research of like what it is. That's exactly. what I'm saying. Like I don't want you to keep them at the same age level. Like if they were thirteen, I wouldn't pick thirteen. Yeah. I would pick like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Mm. But that's just me because I was reading those. The other thing too is. Um, there is a bunch of banned books, and I love banned books. <laughs> books that have literally been taken off the shelves because they are deemed unfit mm. for readers of certain ages. So when I was growing up, it was The Catcher in the Rye, and it was taken I out of high schools. I remember that book. It was taken it's out of high it. schools. It was taken out of schools in general. Harry Potter is a banned book. Is it really? Hmm? Magic. Oh. religion and everything came through and was like, we want this book banned. I feel like all I was reading in school, from what I remember, was a lot of uh, sonnets. We did last Shakespeare. Oh, yeah, we didn't that. really do that. We didn't really have, a, like, a lot of books. Or you could pick something you wanted to read and do, like, a review. Mm -hmm. And I usually just, like, cheated and just got, like, the... What are they called? The side oh, notes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sparks, Cliff notes. Sparks notes. Spark notes. Spark notes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my thing is I felt like my mom was doing the shoe test on me every time I had a new book. So a shoe test is opening up the book, going over a couple words and seeing if the kid knows what they are, essentially. Yep. Can, can if read they can what read, it says read what it says and also understand describe what, what that means. Hmm. Yep. Interesting. She did that and it would always be really fun when she would do it to me and I'd get it and yeah. I'm like, hmm, see, told you. Do you ever feel like you squeaked past the test and got deeper, like, deeper into books. You're like, oh, wow. Like, l I'm glad my mom didn't open up to this page. Uh, yes, that's a yes. Probably. I don't remember. But, like, I read I The know. Bell Jar, and I was, like, super young. Like, probably in fourth or fifth grade. I don't think she was te testing the books then. Like, fourth, fifth grade, then they were like, Meh. I feel like I got into my mom's smutty romance novels Probably at like twelve or thirteen. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, smutty romance. I mean, like you know, the girls, I, men, you won't know, like fellow dudes that watch us, but the ladies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those like pages that are yellowed. You get them for like ninety nine cents. Scott yeah. usually has Fabio on the front and like the oil painting of like I don't know some Highlander dude. Yeah, those. <laughs> My are, favorite like, is the cowboy ones. I and like the pirate. I ones. was. It's always I, a cowboy. It's always a cowboy. I'm cowboy on the side pirates. of the road and this man galloped up in his horse and saved me. So it's either period pieces, so it's like, what, British? Yeah. Like, old, like her petticoat, like huge. And then it's cowboys. I read one that was interesting and it was this guy who like was a swimmer and then like he had some like problem where he couldn't swim anymore and the girl was like, like kind of like going to take care of him in his house. And, like, be the physical therapist to make him, like, be able he could swim again. And he's like, if you catch me one of these days, you can have me. And I was like, ooh, I'm intrigued. But I was, like, young. So, like, I sit here and I'm thinking, oh, my God, 13-year-olds should only talk, like, do that stuff for 13. But I'm sitting here going, I read that stuff yeah. when I was that age. That's why I'm saying, I'd like. sneak out into the uh, The shit that they see porch. on YouTube is way ridiculous. I don't know if I could handle a kid in this day and age because, oh, my God, they, they, I don't know. There's straight up porn on Twitter. I was, like, looking at on something. On Twitter? Yeah. I was looking on Twitter and somebody, like, commented on something yeah, or whatever. Yeah, but kids don't use Twitter now. Or do they? Yeah, I don't they know. Do. I think Instagram's the thing that the, the kids aren't wanting to do anymore. 
Well, well that too, and Facebook. Yeah, well, They've gone to Twitter and... Snap? Snap is more... Um, but they also do those, like, uh, oh, damn, I'm super old. Yeah, we are. What are those ones that they do the, like, videos and they're all like... Venmo? Nah, 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 nah. Venmo is oh, for money, no, dude. No, I mean... Oh, shit! Vines, which are gone. Vi- oh, man. You're talking, those about, have been gone. you're talking about the TikTok? Musically. Or the TikTok thing? Yeah, TikTok. I don't know. What's Musically? I don't even know. Musically, I don't know. Musically is a new one. Oh, my God. We are so old. And we you are know just what? not... Uh, we need to get on there. You know, we're old, but, like, I'm okay with that. Like, I'm all right. I'm on a better demographic. I'm, like, ready <laughs> to be sitting in my lawn chair with, like, like, get off my yard. Like, I'm okay with it. Reading a book quietly. You know, when I even said, like, that I lied and did the Sparks test, I'm realizing, or Sparks notes, I'm realizing with the Harry Potter books, it's probably the most I've ever read in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. That's impressive. Video games hit me at, like, 11 or 12, and then I just, whoop, went right to that. Because anything I read then was a strategy guide. That's it. So sad. Yeah. Reading as an adult. All right. Let's go to race class alignment. 